right, I want to talk to you guys about fads and uh, bubbles. Bubbles, okay? So let's talk about like the Beanie Babies, baseball cards, um, and now Michael Jordan shoes. So Beanie Babies, do you remember people were collecting them? People were trying to buy out the special edition Beanie Babies in hopes that the price was the prices would rise they would collect beanie babies as collectors items and they would keep them and hope to cash out later on right and the same thing with the baseball cards in the early 90s and now the michael jordan shoes people are uh, flipping shoes let me tell you something about bubbles collectibles by the time you hear something and it's a collectible if something is being advertised to you as a collectible, it's not going to be worth any money. That's the bubble, okay? That's when people are buying at its peak and that's when people are advertising it and trying to sell as much of it as they can. Something, in order for something to be a collectible, you have to have it before it's identified as a collectible before anyone even realizes that it's going to be worth any money. I just came back from Marshalls and I saw Michael Jordan shoes uh, for $46, okay? They're being advertised, some of them are being advertised on Nike's website for 150 bucks, okay? Because they were being advertised as collectible, uh, the retro Michael Jordan ones. And it's the same thing with the Beanie Babies. You remember people used to collect Beanie Babies? They ended up being worthless, okay? So, if something is being advertised as a collectible, it's not going to be worth any money. Let me say that again. If something is being advertised as a collectible, it's not going to be worth any money. Don't buy something in hopes that it will appreciate in value. Uh, because it's being advertised as a collectible to you. If it's being advertised to you and that it's going to appreciate in price if you buy it now and then 20 years down the line it's going to be worth money, it's not a collectible anymore. All the baseball cards and basketball cards of the of like the whole late 80s to the 1990s are worthless. Same thing with the comic books. The comic books that are worth money are the comic books that they were um, selling when no one knew comic books were gonna be worth any money, okay? That's what a true collectible item is, okay? In order, for be, in order for it to be worth any true value, you have to have it before it's identified as a collectible, all right? And I learned the hard way. I used to collect baseball cards, basketball cards in the 90s thinking it was going to be worth money now 20 20 years later 30 years later it's worthless okay so don't collect anything that's being advertised as a collectible subscribe